ladies and gentlemen, this is your final contest of the evening. Six three-minute rounds in the Super Middleweight Division. Brought to you courtesy of Black Flash Promotions in association with Golden Gloves. The referee for this contest is Darren Sargentson, your timekeeper, Phil Morris. Introducing first, boxing out of your glove corner, who has the black and gold shorts, official weight of any score, <coughs> six pounds. He's a veteran of 71 professional contests. Coming to us from Aragon, Spain, by his home nation of Mexico, Fernando Valencia. And of course, him across the ring, boxing out of your red corner. He wears the green and black shorts, official weight of Evanstone, 11 pounds. He brings an undefeated professional record, five victories, one draw. Two weeks coming by way of knockout from Liverpool, Hakim Palmer. Six three minute rounds. Main event here at Greenbank Sports Academy, this uh, Golden Gloves Black Flash promotion show here in Liverpool. Um, Hakeem Palmer headlining here against Fernando oh. Valencia. Hakeem Palmer there in the green shorts, big tall fighter, Valencia, who if you watch any Black Flash shows you'll be familiar with. Been through a who's who of all the prospects. Always gives a, a decent account and a uh, Palmer will have seen plenty of him. Unbeaten Palmer, uh, five wins, just one draw on his record, a couple of knockouts, but uh, looks talented, plenty of ability, uses his height well, and uh, we'll see what he can do here against Valencia. Taking the centre of the ring there, Palmer. Good operator of Valencia, always makes these young prospects work. Good jab. That's the key here for Palmer, use that height, use that reach and ram that jab home and everything else should come from it. Yeah, really such good. a fantastic fighter, Akeem. He knows what he needs to do and he's doing it. Found his range straight away with that jab. Good little attack there from Valencia though, just keeping him, reminding him to stay switched on. But a good defence from Palmer. And uh, straight back to the middle of that ring. Already Valencia just very cautious about stepping in because he's worried about that jab coming back his, his way. Good round from Palmer. Final 10 seconds. Yeah, fully in control here for Hakeem Palmer. Valencia really struggling to get close and, and he had more than more than a few solid jabs and really good from Hakeem Palmer.
Second round here, Hakeem Palmer and Fernando Valencia. Let's see what Valencia can do differently because that looked like a pretty difficult first round for the, the veteran journeyman. You know Hakeem Milan. No, I don't know Hakeem that much. I've seen him fight, but everything I have seen is always, you know, shown how much of a great fighter, right, fighter he is. And he's always good to, you know, watch every time we do get a chance to see him. So yeah, this is why I'm so excited for tonight, and I'm glad that he's the, uh, you know, the last fight of the night. So because of, if you watch, you know, the way round one went, then we know it's going to be a good fight. So yeah. Yeah, round one they showed exactly what Hakeem Palmer's really good at. Big long jab, knows how to use his size well. Right and left up there as well from Palmer. Has been stopped a couple of times by a prospect Valencia. I think Niall Brown stopped him. So Palmer knows that he can get to him if he just lands the right shots and so far he's going about it perfectly. just softening Valencia up that jab palm. Right hand's coming more and more regularly though. I think as soon as he feels any, just shaking his head out there actually, Valencia, I think that right hand hurt him. But I think as soon as he feels any sort of weakness, I think Palmer might just let his hands go a little bit here tonight. Nice body shot there from Palmer. Good right hand as well. Just use his feet and using that jab just to keep the perfect distance here for Valencia. Really struggling to get close. I think more and more opportunities might just open up here for Palmer as this fight goes on. Nice double jab right hand. Third round here, Hakeem Palmer and Fernando Valencia. Yeah, we saw Valencia fight Niall Brown in February. He got stopped in the sixth round. And before that, he boxed Tom Rafferty on a black pass show just before Christmas. Uh, went the distance there with Tom. So, yeah, he always seems to get to a sixth round, at least, Fernando Valencia, real solid guy. Just makes his way around Britain now, giving rounds to these uh, young prospects. Hakeem Palmer's had everything he's on way so far. Used his, used his jab well, put that right hand behind it a couple of times and not taken anything in return either so far. 
Palmer. He's very comfortable tonight, uh, Palmer, isn't he, John? He's comfortable in there. He's doing what he needs to do. It's all going his way. Yeah, nothing's shaking him out of his comfort zone yet, has it? It's not, no. Valencia's going to have to do something pretty drastic and pretty different to, to budge Palmer tonight. Let's see if he can do it. Living up to his top of the billing here, Hakeem Palmer, I think. Been some good fights on the card tonight, but Palmer looks uh, a real good operator in here. Hurt in Valencia now with right hands and left hooks. And there we go. Really starting to run through his repertoire and, uh, and show everyone what he can do. Nice attacks here from Hakeem Palmer. Yeah, he put his foot down there, didn't he? And, you know, took the, took the opportunity to, to get as many punches in as, in as he needed to. Tough night's work, this Valencia. Usually goes the distance with people, but he, he, he can't find any way to be successful here with Palmer. He's getting hurt at range, he, he can't get close and when he does try and get close he's getting made to pay for, for stepping forward so it's a tough night's work this for Valencia. Good round for Hakeem Palmer, last 10 seconds of the third. Ends it with a good body shot. Uh, Valencia just complaining a little bit. Always good to see a, a journeyman complaining if you're a home fighter. Fourth round, everything going Hakeem Palmer's way tonight. I think the only question remaining is if he can step it up enough and land enough clean punches to get a stoppage. What do you reckon, Milan? Can he do it? I reckon he can do it, yeah. I mean, every round so far, I reckon, you know, he's done what he needs to do and he's, he's got each round. Great night as well for Wayne. You know, all wins so well, all wins so far, you know, with his fantastic five. Just got to, you know, see if this one comes through, but it's all looking good so far, yeah. Yeah, it's been a busy night for Wayne, hasn't it, from Golden Gloves. Five fighters, five wins. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Four fighters, four wins, yeah. and Hakeem Palmer well on the way to a... Uh, a fifth one here. Yeah, good night for Wayne and the, and the guys from that gym. Plenty of taunting Palmer saying, come on, but uh, I'm not sure where he's getting that confidence from Milan. I think Palmer's made him pay more than a few times, hasn't he, tonight? Most definitely, yeah. Hurts him again there with another right hand. Hands as well, what I know, what a fantastic, just to catch him like that. Yeah, so talking about his like jab and his right hand, but he's got fast hands when he lets them go.
was nice that from Palmer, just <coughs> edged his way forward without throwing any shots, just used his feet and just got himself close enough to land that right hand. He's really doing a little bit of everything here, Hakeem Palmer tonight. And there's that jab again. Valencia's not come close to figuring that out all night. Valencia's just gone into resigned himself to defeat I think here Milan just getting on his bike not throwing much yeah I agree but it's a bit strange to see as well because every time we have seen him fight he's not one to you know to back down so yeah, it just shows how much of a, a tough fight is well a tough, tough time he's having in the ring yeah he's having a difficult time with Hakeem Palmer tonight doing a really good job here Hakeem I think he's won every second of every round, Milan. Yeah, I agree. And I definitely would like to see Pam fight again. Excuse my cold commentator gagging on the microphone. Over ten seconds. Go far. Here we go for the fifth round. Hakeem Palmer. Let's see if he can really go through the gears and, and really make an impression on Fernando Valencia. Starts off with another couple of right hands. Just try switching southpaw here, Valencia. Just try, that didn't last for long, but he's trying everything he can do to just stay away from that jab and that right. Yeah, I think he's had a bit of a conversation in the ring there that's giving him a little bit more vote, you know. His, his team probably knows that he's, he's, he's not got the win, but probably had the, the talk of just keep on going, try, try to switch it up a little bit and, you know, try and do a little bit better in this round. Yeah, just try everything you can just to get through. Really good this from Hakeem Palmer though. And we get to see Valencia against all the British prospects so it's pretty easy to see just how well Hakeem's doing and not many have dealt with him quite as easily as this or as impressively as this. Easily is probably the wrong word. Nice left up to the body as well. Looked really good early on in his career Hakeem then just, just sort of went off a boil a little bit so it's good to see him back in, in you know, really in clearly in good shape tonight and really fighting well and showing exactly what he can do. Definitely talented. Valencia in full-on survival mode now. And I can't blame him really. It's been a, I think it was a painful th three rounds while he was working out ways to try and get close, but just got on his bike in the last couple and just tried to stay a little bit safer. And that catch in line, just getting closer and closer for him now. Round coming to an end. So, what, what do you think? You know, you're watching Hakeem there, Milan. We've seen him before. What, what do you think of Hakeem? I think he's got some massive potential. 
you know, great, great potential there. And uh, I think anyone could vouch for that after watching tonight's fight. Sixth round, I think Wayne will be pretty happy with what Hakeem's done so far. Does have a fight listed on Box Rec, boxing a Nurage signee in Dubai in a couple of weeks, Hakeem. So this will be the ideal preparation for that, but he'll still be wanting to. It looks like he's fully in his groove and fully feeling it tonight. So we'll just want to really finish on a high, I think, here and, and go through everything he's got. of talented middleweights in Britain at the moment all around the same sort of level and uh, Hakeem falls right in that little group be another 18 months or so before he's ready for any kind of title I think but he's uh, definitely showing lots of potential always certainly looks like he can get there always has done actually look like Hakeem rocks Valencia then a bit of trouble there. Yeah, it looked like he got him with a left hook, didn't it? And a right hand there as well. So it's good that he's finishing strong, isn't it, Milan? You know, he's not just coasting over a finish line and, and letting it peter out. Well, that's shame. He, you know, as we said, he's definitely got it in the bag. Um, a lot of people can switch off in the last round, last round, cruise a little bit once they've got it in the bag and play safe. But Akeem is just going for the, you know, he's going for the finish there and he's going for the knockout. Just keep him working right to a final bell. What have you made of uh, your trip to Liverpool with Black Flash Promotions and Milan? I've enjoyed it. John, have you enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah, it's been a, a good night. We've had five good fights, action packed from start to finish. Yeah, I'd definitely come back. Lots of good talent here in Liverpool, and Wayne's building that stable, so I think we will be back more and more in the future. You know, when you've got fighters like Hakeem Palmer capable of topping the show every reason to come back. Good turnout as well. Yeah, as you know, everyone stayed behind to watch Hakeem Palmer fight, haven't they, as well? No, no one's gone home. So he's kept a big crowd here. <laughs> but just coming up to last little bits of action here, this... Uh, night in Liverpool and Hakeem Palmer got everything his own way and uh, starting, finishing the fight away he started it with that jab and that right hand and I think it's been a good solid performance this from Hakeem Palmer last 10 seconds goes no final fling there from um, Valencia Stay safe and gets to the end and just get the official score from referee Darren Sargentson.
Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action, your referee Darren Sargentson scores the contest. 60 points to 54 for your winner, Hakim Palmer. Yeah, 60 points, 54, Hakim Palmer. Six wins and a draw. And uh, Fernando Valencia clearly impressed with the Manny Fox tonight, giving him a, a nice big handshake, pat on the back. So yeah, that concludes tonight's boxing. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Tune in again. We're back in bowlers in two weeks' time. Yeah, two weeks' time. Make sure to tune in. And if you are watching tonight's tonight's action, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Good night. <laughs>